Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication known as Vasipa, with the generic name Icosipant. As always, this discussion is for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, it's essential to consult with a medical professional. Description Vasipa, or Icosipant, belongs to the drug class of miscellaneous antihyperlipidemic agents. Its primary function is to work in the liver and bloodstream to reduce very low-density triglycerides. Vasipa is often prescribed alongside other medicines, such as statins, to decrease the risk of heart attack, stroke, and certain types of heart problems that require hospitalization in adults. Additionally, when combined with a low-fat and low-cholesterol diet, Vasipa helps reduce triglycerides in adults with severely high triglyceride levels. It's important to note that it's currently unknown whether Vasipa can lower the risk of pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas. Warnings before starting Vasipa, it's crucial to inform your doctor if you have conditions like liver disease, diabetes, thyroid disorders, pancreas problems, bleeding or blood clotting disorders, or allergies to fish or shellfish. Also, if you consume large amounts of alcohol, it's essential to discuss this with your healthcare provider. Vasipa is a part of a comprehensive treatment program that may also encompass diet, exercise, and weight management. Always follow your doctor's guidelines closely. Before taking this medicine, you shouldn't use Vasipa if you're allergic to icosapent. It's essential to inform your doctor if you've had liver disease, diabetes, thyroid issues, pancreas problems, bleeding or blood clotting disorders, or allergies to fish or shellfish. If you're pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, consult with your doctor. Vasipa is not approved for individuals under 18 years of age. Dosage Vasipa is typically taken twice daily. It's crucial to follow the prescription label and any accompanying guides or instructions. The medicine should be taken with food and swallowed whole without crushing, chewing, breaking, or opening the capsule. Regular blood tests will be required during the treatment. The usual adult dose for hypertriglyceridemia is 2G orally twice a day with food. For cardiovascular risk reduction, the recommended dose is also 2G orally twice a day with food. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations and never alter your dosage without consultation. Side Effects Like all medications, Vasipa can have side effects. Some individuals might experience muscle or joint pain, constipation, swelling of the hands, legs, or feet, gout, or symptoms like chest pressure and shortness of breath. In rare cases, there might be fast or irregular heartbeats, dizziness, or serious bleeding. If you notice any unusual symptoms or side effects, it's essential to consult your doctor immediately. Interactions Vasipa might interact with other medications. It's vital to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking. Specifically, if you're on blood thinners like warfarin, coumadin, or jantavin, ensure your doctor is aware. FAQ Vasipa is a prescription omega-3 fatty acid, similar to fish oil but not identical. The primary difference is that the SEPA contains only icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, while most fish oils contain both EPA and decosahexaenoic acid, DHA. The SEPA is designed to reduce high triglycerides without raising bad cholesterol levels. It's also more potent than most over-the-counter fish oils and is available only by prescription. Closing That concludes our overview of the SEPA. Remember, this information is intended for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.